honestly what the hell is going on with my hair <laughs> i just woke up but i need to fix this okay so don't mind my face puffiness and my voice i just woke up but today we're gonna be doing my everyday foundation routine something that's really simple and easy this is literally what i would do if i'm going for work or if I'm just running errands and I don't really want to do a lot of makeup but I want to look presentable you know so this is what I'll go for so it's gonna be pretty quick let's get right into it so before we begin we are going to moisturize so I'm gonna be using my clean and clear dual um, action moisturizer it's just a really nice lightweight moisturizer that you can use for the daytime and it has salicylic acid in it so that's good for acne and all of that okay make sure you bring it down to your neck as well next I'm going in with a sunscreen I always use sunscreen I use sunscreen every single day no matter what and I really want to put this out for you guys please use sunscreen it is so important to protect your skin from those UV rays from the Sun and everything like that it's really bad those UV rays are really really bad for your skin um, it causes premature aging wrinkles and all of that stuff and of course we don't want that right so please 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 use a sunscreen I always tell my mom this she doesn't listen to me I hope you guys will <laughs> So please use a sunscreen. Anything that has at least 30 SPF or higher, higher is of course a lot better. And the one that I use is the Hawaiian Tropic and this has 60 SPF, so which is great. Even if your foundation has SPF, it's not enough. Use a separate sunscreen before you put on your foundation and all your makeup. So please, if there's anything that you're gonna learn from this video today, please put your sunscreen on and don't forget the neck either and whatever I have left I always just put it on my hands as well because you want to protect your hands also I'm just going to apply some chapstick and this is the Smith Rosebud Salve is that Salve? yeah Salve this is my favorite now we're just gonna move on to priming our face foundation I'm gonna be using the dr. brands pores no more primer and I'm just going to put this wherever I have pores like the largest pores next for foundation I'm gonna be using the Maybelline dream cushion foundation this is fairly new I believe and this is really good because it's kind of like an on-the-go foundation so I mean if you're on the go this would be perfect for you so it comes in a packaging like this and it's pretty compact and there is a cushion that it comes with I'm not gonna use this and then you open it and then there is your foundation so this is really good for everyone that's on the go um, I think it's pretty cool and they also have a mirror by the way so it's really good for on the go honestly um, I'm gonna use my favorite brush which is the elf uh, foundation brush and start putting this on my face You can also use a beauty blender if that's how you like to apply your foundation. I like to apply my foundation with a beauty blender as well, but recently I found this brush and I'm in love with it, so I'm going to be using this today. So it's a medium coverage and it is buildable. Don't forget the neck, that's very important. And then if you do put your hair up, just cover your ears as well with whatever foundation is left on the brush you don't have to put any extra on it so next we're gonna move on to concealer and I'm gonna be using another Maybelline product and this is the age rewind I really like this concealer and basically what you want to do is you just want to highlight under the eyes one tip I have for you guys is don't just put the concealer right here and be done with it. I know that's what people usually do when they're in a rush. They think, you know, I'm just going to put 
concealer right here and that's it don't do that because that just emphasizes your dark circles and the darkness under the eyes even more bring it down like this like an upside down triangle and that way it just highlights and it doesn't really emphasize your dark circles i'm just going to highlight my regular areas that i usually do so which is going to be the forehead if you have a bigger forehead you don't want to highlight too much you want to contour more and then down the bridge of the nose a little bit right here here and just a little bit underneath the contour that we're gonna go in with next we're gonna set the under eyes and I'm gonna be using the NYC loose face powder you always want to set the under eyes because you don't want it to crease and move around throughout the day make sure there are no creases and then set And with that same powder, I'm also going to set everywhere that I did my highlight. So a little on the forehead, a little down the nose. Next, I'm going to take this pixie powder and just set my face lightly. Now, if you're oily, you would want to set your face completely um, so that you don't get oily throughout the day but I'm more of combination to dry so I'm not gonna set my face a lot I'm just going to set it right here on the cheeks because that's where I mainly get the oiliness you know this routine right here usually takes me about 10 minutes um, but just because you know I'm talking to you guys and making this video it's taking a little bit longer but this routine should take you about 10 if not like 15 minutes maybe max but it usually takes me 10 minutes once you get used to doing this routine it will literally take you 10 minutes um, so it's it's really easy and simple it might look like a lot but honestly it's not so I'm just going to fill in my brows my brows don't take too long they take maybe about two minutes to fill them in Let's move on to some contouring now. I'm going to be using my Shade & Light palette by Kat Von D. This is my favorite contouring palette ever. I literally use this every single day. I'm going to take the metal shade. As you can see, that's the one that I use the most. Tap off and contour. Now, contouring is great. It gives you some color, it gives you some dimensions, so you don't look really flat, you know what I mean? So, it's really nice to contour. And once you get the hang of the routine, it's not a lot at all, so don't be scared. If you're a beginner or, you know, if you are a mom, um, don't be scared. You can literally do this in like 10 minutes. And make sure you bring that down to your neck so everything kind of matches. Then I switch over to a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go into that same color but also mix it in with this one here. I mix more of this and just a little bit of this. And I'm just going to contour my nose. If you don't have to contour your nose, you can totally skip this step but I just always contour my nose because I just like the way it looks when I contour it. So if you don't have to do this step, you can just skip this step one last step for you okay next for blush I'm gonna be using the NYX blush if you have bigger cheeks you don't want to bring the blush right here you want to keep it a little bit further so that it doesn't make your cheeks look even bigger you know so you want to keep the blush a little bit behind here so I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna curl them and put some mascara on. For mascara today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. This is the new one. It gives you so much volume and length, so I really, really like this mascara at the moment. Whenever I don't have a lot of eye makeup on, I like to load on the mascara. So this does take me you know maybe like 
two minutes or so because I like to load it on. <laughs> I'm be using a nude pencil on my waterline so that will just open up the eyes and make your eyes look bright and fresh so I like doing that when I don't have a lot of makeup on especially in those mornings you know you need some of this all right so the only thing we have left to do is highlight and the lips and then we are good to go for highlight today I'm gonna be using Mac soft and gentle this is like my all-time favorite highlighter where's my highlighter bro oh my mom took it pretty sure or she just didn't give it back to me pretty sure anyways I'm just gonna be using this brush here by Sonia Kashuk and I'm just gonna highlight right here So you just want to highlight the tops of your cheekbones, take it a little bit up, make like a C, put some here right under the brow bone. So you look like a glowing goddess, you know, in the morning. So here. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. If you're oily, don't do it. And a little bit on the forehead and then I'm just going to take my fingers and highlight the nose next let's move on to the lips don't mind my hair what the hell is this doing here Jeez, my hair is a mess today I just woke up and I really didn't want to do my hair <laughs> let's take off all that foundation from my lips and we're gonna move on to the lips I always like to line my lips, so I'm going to line them with Kali Cosmetics Candy K Lip Liner. And then if you want to make your lips look fuller, you just want to put three lines here. One here. Here. And then fill it in with the lip liner. You want to fill it in with whatever lip liner you're using. So that throughout the day, even if your lipstick kind of wears off, you still kind of have that liner underneath. So it doesn't look like everything came off. So I like doing that. And then for lips today, um, I think I'm going to try this new lipstick that I got from Maybelline. I don't know, I got two. This is their new collection. I have raw chocolate and toasted truffle. I don't know which one I want to use. One is kind of like a brownish nude and one is like a pink nude. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with the brown nude. So I'm gonna be using Maybelline Raw Chocolate today, and this is all matte. Mmm, they're so creamy. I love it. They're matte, but they're really creamy. I didn't doubt it wouldn't be good because it's Maybelline, and their lipsticks are always really nice. If you wanna go with a red lip or a pink lip or any other bright lips, feel free to do that. With this kind of look, you can really put any lip on. I like to go with a nude lip because it's like the daytime and I'm going to work. I don't really want to wear any bright lips. Um, and you know, I like my neutral lips. So um, yeah, I think that's all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was not too much. Honestly, like if you practice and you get this routine down, you can literally do this in 10 minutes, trust me. So um, you just need 10 minutes and you have a full face ready to go so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was helpful if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i will see you all in my next video also if you liked this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel there's a button down below with like my face on it i think you can just click that and you will be subscribed to my channel so i will see you all in my next video